David, from uh, concentrating particularly on Syria, how best does the United States deal with IS, do you think? Or is it the big priority for the US? Um, my own view is that we have made too much of a priority out of the Islamic State. Um, they are n a nasty bunch of characters, probably as nasty as there are anywhere on the planet. But they are not America's and the West's most important strategic threat in the region. That is Iran. And we, because of our focus on the Islamic State, have been backing into, and the Obama administration has been leading us into, a de facto partnership with Iran and protecting the greater strategic threat um, at the expense of the lesser strategic threat and, um, and arriving at a strategy that is completely incoherent because, as you said in your presentation, we don't have a strategy mm -hmm. for success in, in Syria because we don't want to help Assad, but when we, every time we attack uh, uh, the Islamic State, we do strengthen Assad, and he has become a de facto partner, and nobody wants that either. Well, uh, leading Democrats uh, would take issue and say that, in fact, what you need to do, in fact, we spoke earlier to, to Nancy Soderbergh, who said, actually, what you have to do is you have to bite the bullet. You have to engage with Assad. Assad is the way that we will deal with IS and Syria. He may be our long-term enemy, but he's got to be our short-term friend. But that's, that's exactly, look, that is the real strategy of the Obama administration. The real strategy with the Obama administration is a strategic partnership with Iran, and that means accepting Assad, and that is um, to allow a shocking, appalling, and terrible um, local threat to drive you into making decisions that are against the long-term strategic interests of the United States, which is to c uh, confine Iran and prevent it from acquiring a nuclear weapon. Well